Veterans, including a Native American from right here in Oklahoma, were awarded the nation's highest military honor today. Edward Kaneshiro, Dennis Fuji, and John Duffy on Oklahoma's own Dwight Birdwell all received the Medal of Honor in a White House ceremony this morning. News 9's Washington Bureau Chief Alex Cameron was there. He has a story for us. Well, Specialist Birdwell had already received the Silver Star for valor in combat, but upon more recent review, it was determined that Birdwell's actions during the 1968 Tet Offensive warranted something more. Specialist 5 Dwight W. Birdwell. 74-year-old Dwight Birdwell was barely 20 in January 1968 when his infantry unit was ambushed by about a thousand enemy troops. His tank commander was hit and Birdwell didn't hesitate to take his place. He sustained fire, drove back the attackers and created a place of relative safety. President Biden today recounted Birdwell's heroics, which continued even after he was badly injured. When he was ordered to load onto the medevac helicopter, he complied. This I find amazing, only to crawl right back off the other side and to keep on fighting. If you just think about his story and the act of heroism, uh, it's remarkable. Cherokee Nation Principal Chief Chuck Hoskin attended today's ceremony as one of many who advocated for Birdwell's honors to be upgraded. Well, he's an example of a Native American sort of ran towards the battle in such a, a real way, uh, but for generations, uh, Native peoples have done that in different ways. A Cherokee citizen, Birdwell went on to earn a law degree from OU, start his own law firm, and serve a dozen years on the Cherokee Nation Supreme Court. Just knowing him, you know he's a great guy, and you see somebody you know that you know is a genuinely great person getting this award, that's special as well. Specialist 5 Birdwell's extraordinary heroism and selflessness above and beyond the call of duty were in keeping with the highest traditions of military service and reflect great credit upon himself, his unit, and the United States Army. Signed, Joseph R. Biden, the President of the United States. At the White House, I'm Oklahoma's own Alex Cameron.